it's the more that the music comes from within you and the more that you know what you're going for, the easier it is to find it. I mean, the first time I started working with music, we worked on a lot of music apart, so we weren't, we weren't in person together, and there was a little bit of mystery there. Once I sat down with him together and we were working on music together, I, I saw certain habits from him that I'd worked with a lot of different guys in studios. Like, I wasn't green to working with other people, but, but he had some really weird things that he did that I'd never seen people do before. One of them was just to fly through samples. I mean, like, if, if we were looking for a kick drum, it was just next, 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 like, and then boom, and just went, just, why that one? Like, dude. <laughs> You didn't even let it finish playing, and you threw it in the track. And it took me a while like, to realize like, he'd already made up his mind. In his head, he already knew the sound of the kick drum that he wanted, and he just was waiting to find the one that was close enough of a match. And when he found one that was close, yep, okay, that'll do, and threw it in there. And then you're done with the kick drum for now. Like, now we're on to the next thing. Not, okay, let's obsess over putting some compressors and some EQ and trying to make this kick drum the best kick drum ever. And it's like, no, just throw that in there, and it's close enough, and you move it on. And if you repeat that for your claps and your snare and your hat and your bass and your lead and all that stuff, the, the, there's something 